One of my areas, it was called Apas, and it was just down the road from the temple. So it was kind of in the middle of the Cebu city stake, um, right in the middle of the city. Apas was, it was actually a pretty area. It was kind of the city situated on the mountain, on the hills. So you had just kind of these concrete jungles set up against big mountains and big hills. So every day you wake up, that area you they have transportation, they have a lot of jeepneys going around, but for most of the times when you're working, you're on those mountain sides. So you have just steps. So many steps. I remember just sweating because, you know, you're visiting someone that lives at the top of this mountain, and so you just walk straight up in this kind of concrete jungle field, straight up the mountain, hundreds of steps, and it, you know, there's little, there's just houses and people everywhere. and. It's it's different. It's a different experience than or a different kind of place than anywhere I'd been before, but it's really cool. It's also a cool place there's it's amazing how how people just I mean, like the rural areas, they just find ways to live. I mean, they kind of are living on top of each other sometimes. There's a lot of people in and out in the cities, so they don't really know their neighbors, but they all coexist, they find work, they find jobs. In the city you have a lot more, you have young people who work at call centers, you'll have a lot more just business things, people selling their food, selling whatever. You know, they'll walk around the streets and they'll yell out like, Balut ista! Just whatever they're selling for the day. And a lot more buildings, a lot more people, but still kind of the same culture and the same people, which is what I love. <laughs> the Philippines actually is uh, you know, I was kind of scared, like, oh, just going to this different country. It is, I always felt so safe, even in, you know, the middle of the cities where you have people everywhere around you or in the middle of mountains where there's no one or, no one by your side. I really felt safe and at home for most of my mission. A lot of missionaries worry about that. And the Philippines, I mean, like any country, any place you go, there's, there's going to be crime, there's going to be things, but it really... The Philippines are a loving, Filipinos are a loving people. They don't, I never, you know, got mugged or anything. I never had problems with any of that. I usually just felt very, very loved and at home, um, which is another attribute of the Filipino people that I love. Uh, as far as Cebu City, one thing I guess that's interesting, it's becoming, if you're in the city, you'll see a lot of younger people who are really good at English. And a booming industry in Cebu City right now is call centers. So a lot of times if you're here in America, if you, you know, if you're going to the mission in the Philippines and you want to try speaking the language, just <laughs> call a company and there's a good chance. I've talked to several call center representatives that are from the Philippines. And so they have these new developments that it's tall buildings just filled with call centers. And it's an interesting culture because they're usually kind of alive at nighttime when everyone else is asleep because that's when we're awake in America. So you get a lot of people during the day and it doesn't stop all through the night. You have a lot going on in Cebu City because you have these call centers that 24 seven are always going. So that's kind of something interesting most people probably wouldn't <laughs> realize about Cebu City, but a lot of young, very good English speakers in Cebu City. In Cebu, you'll speak, and in Negros, in the Cebu mission, you'll speak Cebuano. Um, people are good at English. They, most everyone can speak English to you. They can understand a little bit. But really, if you want to be able to connect with them and to teach them effectively, you're going to be speaking Bisaya is what they call it there most of the time, the Bisayan language. So that's something to know. A lot of people think our missionaries might get into, get used to speaking English a lot, but everyone there speaks Cebuano, and if you really want to be effective, you are going to want to try to master the language. And it's a fun language. It's a really unique, but a really cool language to learn. The southern, kind of middle southern region of the Philippines is called the Visayan region of the Philippines. And all of that region, they speak a pretty similar language, which is kind of why it's called Bisaya, or the Bisayan language. Cebuano is technically that dialect of that language that's spoken on Cebu. So Cebuano, that's where you get the Cebuano from. So if you're on Cebu, technically they're speaking the pure Cebuano, but in the mission you're generally going to refer to it as the Visayan language or Bisaya, is kind of how they say it. So it's pretty much the same thing, it just depends on how you're specifying it, I guess.
even though people are really, really poor there, they, they put the missionaries in nice houses. Um, I usually lived in kind of like a, a townhouse kind of house. Um, it was really nice. We usually had two to four sisters in an apartment. Um, and we had toilets and showers. Um, we didn't have like a running like water kind of shower all the time. We Sometimes we had to have a bucket shower, but it's really not that bad. You just dump the water on your head. Um, we didn't have huge problems with pests or anything, so, except for certain houses. I mean, the worst thing I think that I had to deal with was there was a house that I had some rats in, but that's really not that common. Most The, the bigger problem was cockroaches or, or ants, but they give you repellent and stuff to put on your house, and they tell you how to deal with it. And... Um, you usually don't drink the tap water. They give you a filtered water bottle at the MTC. At least they did when I was there. And also they have you usually buy water, like the big blue jugs. Um, yeah, uh, we didn't drive. We didn't have cars the whole time. Never ever did we have cars. The zone leaders sometimes had cars or the, the assistants, the president. Um, so we usually walked everywhere. We <laughs> Or... Sometimes, I mean, it depends on where you're at. Like, if you're in the city, if you're, like, in Cebu City or or there's another one on the island of Negros called Dumaguete. Like, it's more urban there. They usually put the sisters in the more urban places where it's safer. Um, so if you're in more urban places, you, you ride on these, they're kind of like a bus, but, like, with no rows. It's kind of like a bench seating. It's, it's called a jeepney or... Um, on the island of Negros, it's more common to ride a pedicab, which is, kind of, it's like a motorcycle with a, with a sidecar, and you ride in a sidecar. Or if you're in the mountains, sometimes, if it's the only thing available, you can ride on the back of a motorcycle. <laughs> but you have to be really careful, and you have to ride with your companion. That's the only thing, if, it's, if that's the only thing that's available, you can do that. But I thought it was really fun. <laughs> and it had these, these bicycles, like this guy would be on like this little kitty bike, and he'd like pedal on it. And then you ride in the sidecar, and I feel so bad for the guy. I'd, I'd tip him extra because he was carrying us with our groceries or something. But, yeah. Oh, that's another thing. People will try to overcharge you for things all the time, especially if you're white. So don't, don't let them get away with it. Like, speak with them in the language and, and haggle for it. <laughs> Whether it be transportation or food or whatever. They, they do have supermarkets. Uh, it depends on the area where you're at. If you're in a more urban area, they have like, it's like a regular grocery store, but it's more expensive. Um, what I usually did is I, I went to something called the Changi, or oh, it has a lot of different names. It's like an outdoor market where they have fruits and vegetables and like they have touristy kind of items there too, but it's usually, it's like a farmer's market. And I'd usually go and buy my produce there because it was fr more fresh and it's less expensive. And then I'd go get my other supplies like hy hygiene or if I wanted like ice cream or something, I'd go to the I'd go to the grocery store. They have they have normal grocery stores pretty much everywhere. It just depends on where you're at, how big they are. As far as traveling goes, it's basically the same on all the different islands. Unless you, if you're going from one island to another, you're gonna take a boat, and depending on where you're going, that will give you how long it takes but um traveling from place to place in your area from your area to another one for like district meeting or zone conference or something like that usually from area to area in your area place to place there you're gonna take a trike or a hobble 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 is just a motorcycle and both of you will get on the back of it and ride off wherever you pay the driver trike is a motorcycle that has like a side cart attached to it and the side cart will usually seat anywhere from two to five or six people depending on how big it is you fit one or two people on the motorcycle too along with the driver so they can get pretty full but it's safe don't freak out about it they know what they're doing um, there's always buses um, they have a jeepneys which is, it's like a jeeps that were left behind from wars or other things. They converted them into transportation. So it's like the back part is basically 
like the covering for they have for trucks and stuff and they have benches that go along the walls and you just sit down in it and they have the jeepneys have specific routes that they drive so you'll just get off whenever you get to the spot that you need to go whereas trikes usually they'll have a specific area that they drive within but they'll take you anywhere within that area and it's the same thing with the hubble hubble and then buses have their routes and you stop them along the way if you need to get off um weather it's usually pretty good weather if i remember correctly in the philippines it doesn't get below 70 if not like even higher than that it's usually between like from 80 to 90 something degrees most of the time so it's really nice it's pretty tropical because you're on islands in the middle of the ocean so it's, it's humid definitely but you get used to it occasionally it rains sometimes without warning so make sure you take an umbrella with you most of the time just to be sure um, especially during rainy season there are definitely going to be times when you don't need it but there's also times where you think you don't need it and you do so and as far as storms and stuff go it's kind of funny because while i was out there like you hear about storms going on in the philippines all the time members and just people in the area are talking to you about it and then like my family and people would email me asking me if i was okay and everything but what's really nice is Cebu is not like in the exact center of the Philippines however it is surrounded by a lot of different islands so Cebu itself doesn't get it doesn't often hit with really heavy hard like st tropical storms hurricanes and that kind of stuff it does happen sometimes where Cebu is affected but it's usually close to if not at its least severe point when it hits Cebu Sometimes Bohol can get hit pretty hard. The typhoon that came like October or so of last year in 2013 did affect Bohol pretty bad. But uh, again, there's, that's part of their life. I mean, they live with the understanding that at any time a storm could come and kind of destroy their house or their living or take someone from them. It doesn't make it any less sad, but it is something that they understand. And it is nice because in the church and in the mission and everything, we get to help them build things back up as much as we can. Um, I wasn't on the Negros for very long. I was only there for about three or so months. But I didn't see any big storms or anything hit there while I was there. So I'm assuming it's similar to Cebu, if not even better, because it's more towards the center of the Philippines. As far as the storms hit all the islands on the outside and kind of lessen in severity as they're going inland. Um, Cebu living, living on Cebu or in the, any of the other islands in the mission. Um, the jobs and kind of lifestyles that people have depends a lot on where you are. So most of the areas that I served in were in like a rural area. You'll learn to call it the Bukid. But um, just because of that, people had all different sorts of jobs. If you're in a rural area, then hopefully you get a chance to um, help plant or harvest rice. Again, something that you should try once because it is, it can be fun if you go about it the right way, but at the very least it's like mind opening to, to you to see what kind of lives these people have and how difficult of a job it is so there's people who have tens or even hundreds of like spots or little fields of rice that they're in charge of harvesting and planting and keeping for the main part and it's a very demanding and difficult job um other jobs you know you have trike drivers people that drive their hobble hobble bus drivers all the, all the different transportation obviously on buses and sometimes on jeepneys they have someone that's called a conductor and they're just responsible for making sure everybody pays the correct amount for where they're trying to go there's jobs in the stores whether it's like a little store in someone's house that you just go to or whether it's like um, basically the walmarts of there like gaisano or sm or those kinds of things 
those are different jobs that they can have. Some travel tips and advice would definitely be if you're in a city, then I would suggest that you just never have your wallet in your pockets at all, especially your back pockets. Uh, I actually got my wallet stolen once. It wasn't even in my back pocket. It was just in some loose shorts that I had after we were coming back from doing a service project and it was lost. So I lost some money, my debit card and some other stuff and I had to get all that stuff replaced. But um, the safest thing and what I did after that is kept my wallet in my backpack. And that way it's against you. It's difficult for someone to take anything. There are sneaky people who can get into your backpack but I had a special place in the backpack that was like against my back. So no one is gonna get my wallet at the very least. I didn't think anybody would steal my scriptures or anything like that, but just be careful. You have to be really aware of yourself and your surroundings, especially in big crowds of people in the city, because there are a lot of thieves that will take your stuff without you even knowing. As far as traveling goes, again, just understand that the way that they drive and that kind of stuff is just the way that they do it. It may seem dangerous to you, but it's how it works over there, so... You're not gonna die, you're not gonna fall off, anything like that. Again, Filipinos are super friendly. You can be walking down the street, going to an appointment, and you're gonna see people on the side of the street, people walking down the road. Someone will say, Manga unta, which is like, let's eat. So they might be offering you food, they might not be, you know. Um, very cultural thing to them is accepting and appreciating the food that they give you. Because again, like I did say, there are many people who will try to feed you that don't have very much themselves and might feed you and your companion more than they and their family eat that day. So you definitely don't want to offend anybody by like refusing to eat their food or anything like that if they're being serious about it. I mean, if sometimes it is just like a joke. You kind of learn how to tell when you're there. <laughs> 